didn't know exactly where I was gonna go. Because when you sometimes have a big heavy thing in life that you don't know exactly what you're called to do, sometimes you just start pushing it and it may not go the exact direction that maybe God has or the exact direction that you envisioned for your life. But once, once something is in motion and gets moving, then that's when you can really start to do the work and kind of start landing the plane of what you're called and created to be. This is the Unleash Your Purpose podcast. All right, guys, we have made it. Welcome to my first ever podcast. I can't believe it's actually come. Um, it's taken two years in my head to make this a reality. Uh, but I will be your host through this journey. My name is Ryan Centers, and welcome to Unleash Your Purpose. Behind us is our brand new set. You think, wow, what an amazing podcast studio. It's actually my bedroom, um, but uh, it's not gonna stop us from hopefully growing together and becoming our best versions of our 2.0 self. Um, I know for me personally, maybe it's my midlife crisis as I'm near 40, um, but I know that uh, I have fought tirelessly to make sure that I can figure out who the heck I am and through if it's counseling or a million different jobs um, or trying to search out my purpose. I have fought so hard and I feel like this is the one thing in my life that I feel like I have settled in my soul and I'm, my hope is that this will become an encouragement uh, to all of us as we grow together to become our best versions of ourselves. I always think we're in our 1.0 but we got to get to that 2.0 self. We got to continue to grow to make ourselves better and that is for me, I'm relentlessly pursuing that in every part of my life. So a little bit about my journey is uh, I'm a uh, CEO and founder of about five companies here in uh, Phoenix. And uh, it's been uh, kind of a real joy. We have a nonprofit also connected to four other for-profit companies. Uh, we have over 550 employees and do revenue um, in the tens of millions of dollars. And uh, as I have been working through um, figuring out what I want to do and what I want to become and how I can support my family at the same time, um, I can think back to the last decade of trying to figure out who the heck I was. I don't know if you've ever been like me. Like, I was stuck. I was like a boulder stuck in place. I could not move. And I was just stuck in fear and insecurity. And I was trying to make something happen. Um, I would look at this boulder and I just could not push it to get moving. And um, as time has went on, I just knew I needed to kind of just get off the horse, get off the pot and just start pushing it forward. I didn't know exactly where I was going to go because when you sometimes have a big heavy thing in life that you don't know exactly what you're called to do, sometimes you just start pushing it and it may not go the exact direction that maybe God has or the exact direction that you envision for your life. But once, once something is in motion and gets moving, then that's when you can really start to do the work and kind of start landing the plane of what you're called and created to be. And for me, I feel like I've had to push this boulder in many different directions. I, I mean, for me, I had to go to college for 13 years and get three graduate degrees to figure out what the heck I wanted to do. Who goes to school that much? It's ridiculous. Kids, my kids, don't do it. I'm going to tell you not to go to that much school in your life. It's a waste of time. But guess what? Um, it's got me here. I've started five different companies, two nonprofits I church planted. I can think back to looking at my old tax returns. I made uh, $30,000 um, a year, and I used five different W-2s to make that thirty grand. What a winner I was. But figuring out what I wanted to be and what I wanted to become was part of the journey to get me there. So now as I think back to that journey and where I'm at now, I am so glad that I had to hustle and grind to figure it out because that's part of the work. You can't just sit and stay stagnant. You can't just be this boulder that's just stuck. Like if you're just stuck, you're going to be empty. And I don't know. If you've ever been like me, but you're just waiting to take a chance, waiting to start the business, you're waiting to take the step in the, that relationship, if you're waiting to make that move and do that side hustle or unleash that purpose, that dream that is birthed inside of you, maybe you're, st you're stuck and you just need to. My hope is that this journey that we're about to go on together will be part of that solution, is it will be part to help coach us, 
up to inspire us to live this best version of ourselves, this 2.0 self, that we can make a difference in this world. There was this psychological study that was done by Northwestern, 1970s, it's a classic study, and it really helped me understand like what I want to be. They studied two groups of people. They said, what is the worst possible thing that could happen to someone? Someone getting paralyzed or being quadriplegic, that was one group. What's the best thing that could happen to me? Okay, winning the lottery. So they studied these two groups of people, quadriplegics and lottery winners. And they said, hi, let's watch them as they um, go through life who's happiest. And, and initially, someone wins a lot of money. Initially, of course, the lottery winners are really happy and success and love in life. But quickly after, what surprised the researchers the most, six months later, they go to look at them and they're noticing that the ones who, are, who just won the lottery are not happy. They're, they're rated their level of happiness in the everyday joys of their life, having dinner with their kids, um, going out and um, hanging out with friends, making dinner as a couple. They rated every one of those things as lower and less happy and less fulfilled, but they got all this money, but they weren't as happy as the quadriplegic. Why? Because every single person of us has this set point in our life that we kind of go back to baseline of how we are and how fulfilled we are. And the reality is temporary situations, like just winning a bunch of money is not going to be the end all of finding your purpose and happiness. There's something more. We have to strive for something bigger than ourselves. We have to find, we have to find a purpose and a calling that where it's worth fighting for that we can unleash to find fulfillment. I'm all about making money. My businesses are there to create a legacy for my family and to impact our community, but it can't just be about that. And I have become relentless that it can't just stop with that. For me, I got nine kids in my home. Watching them be involved in my businesses, having a purpose and a call together. When we go to the Easter um, events with our kids that we serve, when we go work with special needs individuals and we um, celebrate Christmas with them and raise money for good causes and take them to summer camp, my kids get joy out of that. And I watch my kids serving and making a difference. And I'm like, this is what is life is worth. When I get to do it with my bride who we've been married and fought and worked tirelessly to create a business together that we can both be proud of and pray for together and argue and fight and have visions and dreams together, that's worth it. Like that's the purpose. So for me, it may be something big in your life that you're called to do. That's the next thing that is just on the next side of the hill that you have to fight for. Um, but for some of us, it's going to be like, I got to step over the fear and step on the microphone and step over the fear and, and move forward. I don't know what it is for you, but we all have a version of 2.0 a 2.0 self where we can make a difference and unleash our purpose. So I invite you to join us every week as we unleash our purpose um, to profit in business, faith, and life. Thanks for joining us for the Unleash Your Purpose podcast. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a review. We'll see you next week.